get ready with me and get to know me. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I thought we could do a little get ready with me because I was on my Instagram story and you guys said you want to see a little get ready with me. So I thought why not get ready and you guys can get to know me. Also disclaimer, once again, okay, um, I'm very fake tan. My body and my face is pale because I'm breaking out and I didn't want to put tan on my face. So we're going to match it. Don't worry. Okay, I just wanted to put that out there because it's winter in Australia. I need to have a tan. But anyways, let's get started. So my full name is Island Lee Carter. And no, I'm not Irish. I don't know where my parents got the name from i don't know it's just it is what it is kind of thing my birthday is may 16 so i'm 21 years young okay we're 21 years young and i share my birthday with janet jackson hello because i was born on may 16 that means i'm obviously a taurus which is the best stuff sign okay it's not my fault that i love food so much and being stubborn and lazy because it's written in the stars hello it's not my fault i'm just kidding but i do love food i'm very stubborn when i need to be and sometimes i can be lazy when i have no motivation i will be lazy another little fact i'm so Australian, if you couldn't tell from the accent and I'm born and raised on the Gold Coast so I literally haven't lived anywhere else my whole entire life. I love the Gold Coast so much. I feel like it's a mix of like the beach, the city and like the western like forest vibes because where I live I can literally drive like 20 minutes down the highway go to the beach. I can drive 20 minutes and go into like the mountains or I can drive like an hour up north and go into the city. I feel like I have the best of both worlds. Also just quickly I wanted to mention I got this top it's got like a little bow so cute but anyway another little random fact is i've went to hawaii once when i was 15 so i've literally only been overseas once which i feel like a lot of people that i know have already been overseas like when they were like really young but that's the only time that i've been overseas we were literally only in hawaii for like a week but it was such a culture shock because when we ordered like a burger you'd get the burger with like a side of like strawberries and pineapple and that was so like crazy to me like i just wasn't expecting that because here in australia when you order a burger you get like fries or like a salad not fruit but i do have to admit that the pineapple over there was unlike any other pineapple i've ever eaten it was seriously the best pineapple i've ever had and i dream about it i think about it every morning and night also i think i'm trying to do like my everyday base makeup while i get ready so all the products will be listed in the description as usual okay continuing on with the travel talk i also want to travel the world it's my dream you guys have probably heard me talk about traveling in europe and japan so much on this channel but yeah my dream is to travel and work at the same time so doing influencing hello Course. I want to be able to help a lot of young girls and just people in general with their confidence, self-love, everything. If you guys haven't watched my other videos, I always say that my dream destination holiday places are probably Europe, specifically Italy, London, Greece. And I also really want to go to Japan. Hello, I love the food and the culture. It looks so good. And I also really, really want to go to South Africa because if you didn't know, once again, my partner of seven years almost is actually South African. So I would love to go over there and meet his family and just see where he grew up and everything and just see like all the wildlife. Like it looks so amazing and beautiful. Another little fact is that I love pasta and sushi. I feel like a lot of people love those foods as well, but for good reason. It is the best food ever. But you guys get to know me on a deeper level and my favorite, favorite number one food or like snack chocolate okay and no i don't just like like it i love it i think about it 24 7. you guys get to know me on a deeper level okay so if you know you know and you guys now know so i can eat a chocolate fondue for two so if you go to max brand it's like a chocolate shop in australia on the gold coast and you can basically get like melted chocolate in these tall pots with like fruit banana bread marshmallows strawberries bananas anything you want and they have a thing called fondue for two so you know if there's two people you can share it I can eat a whole one of those on my own. That is how much I love chocolate, especially when it's melted. Oh, so you guys really know me now on a deeper level. Okay, we have bonded. And a little fact, like I kind of mentioned it before, if you picked up on it, but I've been with my boyfriend since we were 15, so it's been almost seven years in October. We were both 15 in high school, high school sweethearts. And whenever I tell people that, they're like, oh my gosh, no, that you can't be serious. Yes, we have been. And I always give a lot of advice on my TikTok and talk about it because I know a lot of young people who are getting into relationships and i'm not encouraging young relationships but they're inevitable hello so i always try and give some tips because it was a roller coaster which all relationships are but i think it's really important that you know young girls especially if they're feeling insecure and all these kinds of things you're so young and you're like mentally not fully developed like at that age it's just hormones and emotions everywhere so i always try and give some advice and tips to help other people so another food that i forgot to mention now that i think about it is that i also love south african food specifically the curries my second family which is chad's they make the best south african curries oh my gosh it's always like this like shredded chicken or beef with rice 
If you couldn't tell, you guys, I really love and get passionate about food. Also, you guys, I have a child. Her name is Daisy. I did not get to name her. The previous owner named her, but she is an Italian greyhound. I'll insert a Brody. But she's like five, so she's actually not a puppy, but I treat her like my little baby. Another little thing about me is that I am the biggest homebody, okay? My social life just doesn't exist. My favorite activity is to be in my bed, watching The Office and eating snacks. Hello. The only time that I really ever leave the house is to either go shopping, go eat out somewhere, or if it's like a special event or like occasion. But there's nothing wrong with being a homebody, especially if you're someone who has anxiety. Just know that sometimes you do need to go out though and get in the sun and fresh air, but it's okay if you don't want to leave the house. Another little fact that I've written down in my laptop for this video, but I've already kind of touched on it, is that I care so much and so deeply about helping young girls just in general with loving themselves and not restricting yourself with food. So it is always my biggest passion and like my why for why I post on social media. I just want girls and people to feel more happy and confident within themselves and another thing about myself is that i have really really bad anxiety and it's quite ironic that like i post on social media and stuff because at the end of the day it's just me talking to a camera like it doesn't feel scary but i have the worst anxiety and i'm probably not going to go into detail about it today maybe i should do like a mukbang chill talk video talking about my struggles with anxiety i feel like that would really help a lot of people but just know that i struggle with such bad anxiety like oh my gosh if you knew this stuff that i've had to deal with and the amount of people who i've had to talk to about it. It's crazy. I've had it for about, I want to say like seven and a half years. So just before I started dating Chad, I started to develop really bad anxiety. But yeah, I just want you guys to know that you're not alone. Okay. I am here for you. Always message me if you ever need anything. Okay. Another little written thing that I thought was kind of funny and like, I don't know if it's relatable, but I want to find out. So here we go. Is that, I don't know if this is just me or if other people feel like this too, but especially on New Year's Eve. Yes, I'm happy about starting a fresh year new beginnings, new goals, and everything. But when it really comes down to it, when I have to think about it, I have like a sad, like sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. I guess I get scared about the new year and you know, if I haven't fulfilled all my goals and things. And I don't know, I just don't like how I feel on that one day of the year. So please let me know if anyone else feels like this. Another little thing about me that I thought I would mention is that I look for the positives and everything, okay? Every morning, this is like one very specific thing that I do, but every morning when I wake up, I have like a window and like a blind right beside my bed. So if I roll over in the morning, pull my blind up and if I see blue sky outside I know instantly I'm gonna have a good day I can just feel it if I can see a blue sky my mood is like instantly from here up here like skyrocketed I'm not saying you know if there's rain or clouds you can't have a good day because you still can hello but if there's a blue sky I like it no instantly and I can just feel it in myself I'm like I'm gonna have the best day and it's the best way to start your morning I swear to gosh blue sky will change your life I think that's also why I could never live in London or anywhere like that because I'd just be so sad all the time. I also have two siblings and I have an older brother and I have a younger sister, so middle child syndrome. It is a real thing. Okay, but anyway, my sister Lily, she is literally my best friend. Now to get a little deep and vulnerable, my biggest fears in life, I feel like number one is probably flying on airplanes. That scares me so much. I don't really like heights and like roller coasters, so it kind of makes sense. And my other biggest fears, I would say, are probably losing a loved one. That scares me so much. And I feel like also not making it in life like making my dreams and my goals come true those are my fears okay don't use them against me when i was younger my two like dream careers that i always wanted to have was firstly i wanted to be like a police dog handler so if you don't know what that is it's basically like you know how there's like german shepherds that will go and sniff out weapons and bad ingredients if you know what i mean and like baddies and stuff like that i wanted to be a dog handler so i wanted to train the german shepherds go on a scene with a dog and like train it to find something you know i thought was really cool of course this one makes sense i always wanted to be a youtuber i personally grew up watching on youtube i has cut great because i'm obsessed with playing sims if you didn't know i always used to love watching her sims games i loved michelle fun oh my gosh she's so beautiful and i also always loved my life with ava that was like more so like later on down the track. Another little fun fact about me is that I am a collector. Okay, I'm not a hoarder, I'm a collector. I love to collect coins and like international money. I think it's so cool. I have like a little jar in my bedroom. I've collected that since I was a little girl. And I also love to collect squishmallows and sunny angels. And I also have like a little jelly cat bunny. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I feel like it's, you know, fulfilling the childhood in me. The little girl in me is loving it. So it makes me happy, hello. Never forget that you have a little kid inside of you still. So you still need to make them happy. I have my laptop here and these are the little sunny angels. They're 
they're like little like cupid dolls. Like, I don't know if you guys know the little cupid dolls, but they're basically like those, like from the same company, but they're in like a bigger form and they're like fruit and everything. It's so cool and you can stick them on things. But anyways, I sent a message to Chad just to ask him if I've forgotten anything or if there's anything he thinks I should add. I messaged him and I said, what are some random facts about me that you think I need to talk about? And he said, your pile of clothes is bigger than Mount Everest because if you didn't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I always post about my room because obviously I live at home, so I don't have a big walk-in closet, which is fine. But as someone who shopping is basically their hobby and personality, I have like a pile of clothes in my room that I take a while to go through. And yeah, he always roasts me for it. So he said that. And then he said, you are the bestest girlfriend ever, really pretty, and you couldn't point to France on a map. So there you go. And I replied saying, no, I'm just a girl. Because that is my excuse for anything, okay? How am I meant to know where France is? Okay, sometimes I forget. Geography isn't my strongest. But anyway, let's take the clips out because we're basically finished getting ready. I don't think I'm gonna put a gloss on today. Anyway, here's the finished little makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. This wasn't really a tutorial focused makeup look, but yeah, I just wanted you guys to get to know me a bit better and feel like we're on FaceTime. If you wanna keep up with me on a daily basis, go follow my Instagram and my TikTok at islandcarter underscore and my Snapchat is islandcarter16. I post daily over on those channels, so keep up with me over there, okay? And I always forget to say this, but don't forget to subscribe, okay? Watch this video, but you have to subscribe. Subscribe. And just remember that you're beautiful and amazing. You can do anything you want. I hope you have a lovely morning, day, night, wherever you are. Bye.